Energy is everywhere in everything that we do. And we need way more of it. It's very simple. The more energy you consume, the better your quality of life. And unfortunately, we tend to associate more energy consumption with more pollution. We're trying to flip that notion on its head, specifically by using a source of power that is carbon-free, 24-7, reliable, and uses the least amount of space. And that source of energy is nuclear power. We at Elysium are a group of like-minded individuals from all walks of lives and all types of backgrounds. We are all united by the firm belief that energy, water, and food should not be human privileges, but rights. Nuclear waste, weapons, high costs. And at Elysium, we focused on addressing these issues head on. We've been working on our Molensaw reactor since 2015. How safe is the technology in terms of public health, radiotoxicity of waterbeds, soils, and our air? To my surprise, it's actually nuclear energy. What energy solutions use the least amount of land? And it just so happens that nuclear power consumes the least amount of land relative to the power it generates. Which sources of technology require the least mineral and material extraction? And to my surprise, again, nuclear energy was the clear winner. So let's talk about safety. With the lithium reactor, you don't have the propensity of a meltdown because the fuel is already liquid. And that covers the physical safety part. But you also need to be thinking about weapons proliferation, a topic that has always been associated with the expansion of nuclear energy. Typically, weapons are made out of two methods. One is to enrich uranium at a very high level. Another method is to extract nuclear waste and specifically extract certain isotopes that can be used for weapons. And the way we solve those two issues is on the one hand, there's no need to enrich because we use nuclear waste as our fuel source. Second of all, on the waste front, there's no fuel coming out of our reactor at any given moment. We're trying to be a harbinger of peace, getting rid of weapons instead of creating more. Our prototype, which is going to be a scaled down version of our commercial unit, will manage to get rid of about 200 nuclear weapons. With Elysium's reactor, we don't generate any spent nuclear fuel waste. So there is nothing to extract at the end of our reactor lifetime. Spent nuclear fuel is what we call nuclear waste. We have over 80,000 tons of spent nuclear fuel waste sitting in the United States. It's radioactive for several hundreds of thousands of years, and we currently don't know where to stop. When the reality is, our nuclear waste problem is our nuclear waste opportunity. In 2017, with the US Department of Energy, we developed our own conversion process to turn nuclear waste into Elysium reactor fuel in a one-step chemical process. Only 5% of the energy content in nuclear fuel is used in a reactor before we call it waste. Elysium is here to take that 95%. And that's the reason why. If we were to use nuclear waste with the Elysium method, we would extract several hundreds of years of carbon-free power. However, the real value added is in completely breaking down the cost of energy. Our waste to fuel conversion process is cheap and environmentally friendly. On top of that, we want to retrofit existing nuclear power plants. We could just put our reactor there, use the nuclear waste that's on site, convert into a fuel form, and voila. Our goal is to make sure that energy is almost free. If there's anything that the current situation has taught us, it's that we must reconsider our position and prejudices on everything. And so all we're asking you is to open your mind to nuclear energy as an option in the energy mix. Our focus together should be making sure that energy, food, and water are not human privileges, but human rights.